Ways to Intermittent Fast. Welcome back to the Health Benefits Network. My name is Grace Gosnell, and recently I talked about the benefits of intermittent fasting. And today we're gonna take it one step further and talk about some of the different methods of doing so and which method might be right for you. Before we jump into our topic today, I wanna to thank Scoop Health for sponsoring this video. Scoop Health offers medical cost sharing memberships that are a great alternative to traditional health insurance for people who are generally healthy, just like you and I. Click on the link in the description below for more information. Intermittent fasting is a popular trend in the health and fitness industry, and it simply involves restricting the time you eat during the day. There are several ways to do intermittent fasting, but the most popular ones are time-restricted feeding, alternate day fasting, and the 5-2 diet. So let's break down what each of these means. Number one, time-restricted feeding. This method involves restricting your eating window to a specific period, typically eight to 10 hours, and fasting for the remaining hours of that day. So this could look like eating breakfast at seven in the morning, having lunch around 12.30, and then fasting again until the following day. Number two, alternate day fasting. This method involves fasting every other day and eating normally on the other days. The idea here is feast and famine. That said, alternate day fasting is definitely one of the more intense forms of fasting, and many people will likely have a hard time sticking with it. Number three, the 5-2 diet. This method involves eating normally for five days and restricting calorie intake to five to 600 calories for two non-consecutive days. A common way I've seen this done is to fast on Mondays and Thursdays, eating two or so small meals and then eating normally the rest of the week. So with these three options in mind, how do you pick the one that's best for you? I'd first suggest talking with a trusted professional like your doctor or a dietitian to talk about what it is that you're wanting to achieve. The method you choose will depend on your lifestyle, eating habits, and goals. Time-restricted feeding is the easiest to adopt as it only involves adjusting your eating window. Alternate day fasting and the 5-2 diets require more discipline and planning. With that, let's go through some tips for beginners who want to try intermittent fasting. First, start with time-restricted feeding. This is the easiest way to start and you can gradually increase your fasting window. Second, Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water and other calorie-free beverages during your fasting periods. Things like flavored water and unsweetened tea can help add a little variety. Third, plan your meals in advance and ensure that they're nutrient-dense and filling to avoid overeating during your eating window. A meal filled with fiber and protein will help keep your body feeling full. And don't forget to include plenty of vegetables. They can be very low in calories, meaning you can fit a lot more of them into a small meal. And fourth, listen to your body. Intermittent fasting may not be suitable for everyone, so pay attention to your body and stop if you experience any adverse effects. You know yourself best. So if you feel like intermittent fasting isn't working how you wanted, there's no shame in stopping and coming up with a different game plan. Let me know in the comments if you're wanting to try intermittent fasting for the first time, or if it's something that you've experimented with in the past and how it worked for you. If today's video was helpful and you wanna see more content like this, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel as we'll be coming to you with more tips and tricks about the world of healthcare and benefits. And if you wanna check out our video about the benefits of intermittent fasting, make sure to click on that up here.